neurodiversity and the rights of neurodivergent people stands as really the civil rights issue of our, of our day. I think that uh, the arguments that people made in the 1960s about African American people are in many cases the very same arguments they make about autistic people in particular today. And you know it's funny when you say that people will respond that well uh, black people don't have an inherent disability and autistic people do. But you know the shameful truth is that exactly the opposite was said in the 1960s. It was oh uh, black people aren't as smart as white people and therefore it's not discrimination. They're not as smart and we need to treat them differently. Don't you think that we autistic people feel exactly the same way when people look at us with this sort of sanctimonious tone and they say, well, you're socially crippled, you're this, you're that, so of course you can't be, ever be as good as another person. It's exactly the same thing. Here's the deal. There are autistic people who are brilliant. There are autistic people who are crippled. There are autistic people who are gifted. There are autistic people who are disabled. Now, you could take what I just said to you and you could substitute black people, Mexican people, gay people, Jewish people. You could substitute any other group that's been marginalized. And the fact is, those very same sort of stereotyping, discriminatory things have been said about those groups.